Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Did you have any problem with the with the platform? I I don't have any problems. Ah, okay, good. In this moment. Yeah, because only for the use the 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 the, the cellular phone because ah, okay. when I I open the the the, the application the apps um is the clock immediately close them in the ah, okay. only on the cellular phone. Okay, perfect. But in the computer, no problem. The computer is not problem, yes. Okay, thank you, Ricardo. Okay, how was your day? Oh, fine. And it, today is the, for me day off because uh, really in, in my work in my work is um, the I don't know what, what the, you say is in the Sindicato is, is the union in English. It's union. Uh, union. Uh, yes. <laughs> this is the, the union days in, in my in my work. Ah. So okay. this this day is the day off then. <laughs> but but only in your company. Yes, only in our, my company. Yes. Ah, okay, that's good. Yes. Okay, that's fine. You know, at least you have one day off. Okay. Yes, I okay. take a rest today. <laughs> good. And what about the the quarantine? The quarantine is uh, is uh, because uh, in my house is I I I I have to watch TV and and the other activities in my home. Okay, good. So you have to. Take it easy and relax, right? Yes, okay. yes. All right, that's good. Fine. Eduardo, how are you, Eduardo? How are you today? Can't hear you. You're, you don't, you don't hear? Okay, well. Okay. Okay. Can now you listen me? Yes. Yes. Now I can hear you. I am. I am, I am my work now. Okay. Good. So you're working. You have no. you have a special. Um, a special um, a schedule today? No. Um. Yeah, I live in in the hotel. Is down. Why? Because the people is in your house. Ah, okay. Where, where do you work? In the camera. Ah, okay. That's why. So no vacation. Okay. <laughs> yes, the people is resting. <laughs> they don't want to go to the beach. Okay, I understand now. Good. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, Jose, how is everything, Jose? Hi, good evening. Good evening, how are you today? I'm very busy. Okay, that's good. Why are you so busy? A lot of work? Uh, yeah, because I am um, in charge of um, con content measures. Mm -hmm of the enterprise and okay. we need to put the all alcohol health okay ah, the alcohol the, the jail the right that's why uh, you have to you have to be very careful with the yeah yeah right? mm -hmm. yes okay. perfect for here how are you today? I'm uh, fine, very well. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. Did you have problem with the platform today? Yes, I don't know what happened with the platform because I, I don't, I didn't see the video. Okay. But I am here ready or not ready, I am here. Yes, that's good. That's the attitude. Good. Okay. Nice. But did you try to access to the platform uh, in your computer or through the cell phone on my computer okay good yeah because you know i've been checking it and i had no problem the the thing is that in the 
uh, at noon, at noon, I had some problem, but in general with the internet, it was very slow. Maybe. Okay. Maybe, maybe could be a reason, right? But yes. the good thing is that you're here, right? Yes. Okay, guys, now we're, but we're gonna watch the video here. I'm going to show you the, the video that we have for today. Which is about what? Do you remember what was the last thing we said on Thursday that we were going to start today? Who remembers the topic? Yeah, uh, count and non count nouns, right? Count and nouns. non count nouns, okay? So this is related to plural and singular, okay? So this is a very extensive topic, okay? But here we're going to see. Um, Probably you already have an idea, right? In previous, in previous levels that you study the count and non-count nouns. But if you have any questions, uh, you can always ask, right? Uh, let's watch the video, and I'm going. I'm going to pause in case it is necessary to extend the explanation. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, just let me share the, the sound of the computer. Go. Okay, ready. In this class, you'll be able to describe problems in a city. You'll do this by using count and non count nouns. Let me give you a quick example of this. There's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. You'll also listen to an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. First of all, nouns. What are nouns? Well, nouns are people, places, or things. Pretty much everything that you see around you is considered a noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are simply all of those things, people, places, or things that you can easily count. So for example, when we think about cars, subway lanes, buses, those are nouns that you can easily count. Let me give you an example of other nouns that we can easily count. So for example, we can count things like a pen, a computer, a bottle, a spoon, a desk, a cup, a television, a chair, a shoe, a finger, a flower, a camera, a stick, balloon, book, table, etc. Another thing that I would like to mention about count nouns is that we can easily change this count noun into plurals by simply adding an S. Now let me point out what non-count nouns are. And just like I mentioned previously, count nouns are all of those things that you can count. People, places, or things that are easy to count, such as cars, subway lanes, or buses, like we see on the example. Now, with non-count nouns, what that means is that we're going to look at nouns that are difficult to count. So, for example, in our chart, we see things like traffic, things like pollution, public transportation, parking, those are a little bit difficult to count. So let me give you more examples of some of the things that cannot be counted quite easily. And therefore, we consider this non-count nouns. So if we think about things like water, wood, ice, air, oxygen, English, Spanish, these are subjects, traffic, furniture, milk, wine, sugar, rice, meat, flour, things like sports, soccer. All of these things are not countable. They cannot be counted easily. Another thing that's important to mention about non-count nouns is that we don't add an S in order to ch change them to plural. They, they do not have a plural form. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to play an audio program for you so that you can listen to the perspective of some people about their city. And remember that the goal of this class is to learn how to express problems that exist within a city. For example, there's too much traffic in my city because there are too many cars. And we want to use count nouns and non-count nouns to express uh, those ideas. So we're going to listen to that and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. 
The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is people are healthier, and they cause too much pollution. So we're going to listen to that, and I will have you answer a couple of questions about that. The buses are old and slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution. Okay. So remember, this is where they, the emphasis in this conversation is to pay attention to the problems that the people are expressing using the count and non-count nouns. For example, they and also they use quantifiers. They say there is too much pollution. Pollution is contamination, right? So then uh, this pollution is a non count noun. Okay, and they are using that expression here to express a problem in the city. Okay. And slow, and they cause too much pollution. In cities with less pollution, people are healthier. Okay. In cities with less pollution, okay, less is another quantifier, the people, okay, this is a count noun, are healthier. Okay, the people are healthier. There are too many cars. All the cars. What is it? There are too many cars. Okay, too many cars. This is the problem that we have in El Salvador, right? There are too many cars. Cars, taxis, and buses are a danger to bicyclists. There is too much traffic. There should be fewer cars, but I think that the biggest problem is parking. There just isn't enough parking. Okay, there isn't enough parking. Okay, the parking is not uh, countable now, it's an uncountable now. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to answer some questions about your city. And what I'd like for you to do is to tell me whether there is a lot of traffic in your city. So I'm going to ask the question, is there a lot of traffic in your city? Are there many buses in your city? Are there enough police officers in your city? Is there too much pollution in your city? And as you're answering these questions that I just posted, I want you to identify the nouns that I'm using. So tell me whether the nouns that I'm using, whether they're count or non-count. For example, traffic is the first one. Is that count or non-count? Uh, police officers, is that count or no count? Uh, buses, is that count or no count? And pollution, is that count or no count? Okay, good. So we have here, for example, traffic. Now, traffic, uh, Jorge, is count or no count? No count. It's a no count, right? So we can you cannot say one traffic, two traffic, two <coughs> traffic, two traffic. Okay, it's no count. Okay, Eric, Eric, what about police officers? Eric? Hello. Eric? Hello. Eh. Okay, Ricardo, Ricardo, can is is a, a count. Count. It's a count. Police officer, we, we have to count how many police officers there are. Yes, right, good. So then police officers, remember that in this case, officers is the plural and police is like similar to an adjective, right? What kind of officers? Police officers. Good. Then uh, Eduardo, what about uh, buses? Count or don't count? Uh, don't count. 
It's count, right? Count now. And uh, what about pollution? Running. Hello, Ronnie. Yes. It's an uncount. It's an uncount or non count. Non count. Yeah. Okay, good. Perfect. Now, let's see here. Okay, this other one. Okay. okay, good. All right. So then we have now the count and non count nouns to express, a, let's say, um, problems in the city, right? Now I will show you. Um, Okay, this is what the video was talking about, right? So talking about the, for example, now. Hi, good evening, everybody. Sorry. All right, Eric, back. Yes. Okay, good. So we have come nouns refer to people, places, and things, but not by their individual names, right? For example, they say for a explorers is a common noun but hair doll is a proper noun, okay? For example, we can say there are, let me see, um, there are 15 participants in this class. Okay, participants is a, let's say a common noun, okay? And for example, but Ricardo is a proper noun. Okay, you don't say there is one Ricardo here, there are two Ricardos there, right? So then in this case, is, that's what it refers to general or common noun. People, places, and things. People, explorer, tailor, builder, teachers, doctors, police officers, and men, women, children, okay, common nouns. And then you have the places, continent, country, city, right, uh, towns, uh, small towns, uh, you can also have villages, right? And then things, pots, eggs, fish, honey, and all that. Okay, so these are, you know, common nouns are either count or non-count. Okay, so this is the difference, right? That sometimes it's plural and sometimes it is not. Okay, so this is for you to have an idea. I will send you this uh, presentation later so you can see some other details about the count and non-count nouns. Okay, questions in this moment? About count and non-count nouns? Okay. I, I don't have Okay, good. Before we practice, I want to show you the other video where it's, uh, where there is, a, there is an explanation about the quantities. Let me see. Okay. Good. Now, Eric, can you hear me? Yes. Hi. Yes. All right. Yes, I can hear you. Can you please read this objective here? Right now. Yeah. Just give me a minute. All right. Okay. Continue building English conversational skills by learning English expression of quantity. By the end of this class, you will be able to discuss transportation service using adverbs of quantity, including enough, many, fewer, and more. Practice incorporating expression of quantity in phrases such as, there aren't enough buses, or we need more public transportation. There shall be fewer cars, and there isn't enough parking downtown. Okay, so one problem that we have now is that, for example, there aren't enough, there aren't enough, what? Doctors, okay? You know, there aren't enough doctors to assist, to assist the coronavirus uh, patients, right? So this is a problem. There aren't enough 
we have doctors, but not sufficient, not enough. Okay? So this is, you know, expressions where you can use to express problems in the society. Okay? Using quantities, enough, uh, more, fewer, uh, well, here we have more, uh, and I will show less, many, too many, too much, okay? I will show you the presentation again. The first, we're gonna see the video after I'll show you the PowerPoint presentation, and then we go to the practice, okay? Okay. Now, here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to express problems that exist in a city. For example, there are too many cars in my city. There's too much pollution in my city. We need more public transportation. We need more police officers. You'll also learn how to use adverbs of quantity. For example, too many, too much, fewer, more. In our previous class, we learned about count and non-count nouns. And that is what's going to help us to understand when we're going to use too many. For example, in this case, we have cars. Uh, we are going to use too many. And when we're going to use too much. For example, in this case, we have a non count now, and therefore we're going to use too much. So let's now try to make sense of this by looking at this chart. Let me talk a little bit about making sense of this statement here. There are too many cars. And I'm also going to talk about making sense of this next statement. There aren't enough buses. Let me present this structure now. In order for us to make sense of there are too many cars, we need to understand the following rule. Uh, and that is that we're going to have there. And by the way, this can be the subject of the sentence. It doesn't necessarily to be there like for example we can say we have too many cars and let me go ahead as I am talking about that I'm going to go ahead and write the examples now so let me write the example that is there there are whenever you see the expression too many that means that there is a problem that we have too much of too many in this case there are too many cars okay um, and just so that we keep the pattern there, I'm going to go ahead and change the colors um, there. And that follows the verb to be. And then we have too many. And that's how we make that expression. There are too many cars. We can also say we have too many cars. What I would like to do next is to make sense of that last statement that you see there. There aren't enough buses. And this is whenever we are missing something, right? We need more of something like, for example, we need more buses. Maybe we need more police officers. We're going to use the expression there aren't enough. And then that's. Okay, I'm <clears throat> going to. I have a post here. Okay, for example, these are the expressions that I want you to pay attention, right? Too many. Okay, like he says, for example, we have too many cars. We have too many problems. Okay, you can also say, I have too many, uh, let's say, uh, too many problems to concentrate or to focus on my class, right? There should be fewer, okay. When we say too many is when we are exceeding certain limits, right? Certain limits. Okay, who can give me an example of too many? Of real life? Anybody? Think about a sentence using too many. With a count now, with a count now. Me, teacher. Yes, go ahead. Uh, Italia, there are too many people with the coronavirus. Okay, good. So in Italy, there are too many people with 
coronavirus, right? So that means don't go to Italy in this moment, right? There are too many people sick with the coronavirus, okay? That's a good example. That's a real thing, and you can see that it's too many, okay? Fewer. Fewer is, a, if you see here, for example, we have less, and then we have fewer, okay? So fewer is like the more, more or less, right? They say fewer. You cannot say more or less. This is less than that. Say fewer cars, more cars, or enough. These are the important expressions that we have to practice. And if you see, some of them can be used with count nouns or with non-count nouns. Enough is in both. More is in both. Okay, here we have fewer and here we have less. Okay? It's gonna follow a count now. So we use there plus aren't and then this is gonna follow the expression enough. And what else can we say? Well, we can say there aren't enough police officers. What's another problem in your city? Well, maybe there aren't enough parks. What I'd like to do now is to talk about how to give opinions about what is needed in a city. And so I want to make sense of the example, there should be fewer cards. That's an opinion about what I think we need in my city. So in order for us to form that idea, we need a subject, then we need should, after that we're gonna need the verb to be, and this is followed by either fewer or more, and then it's gonna be followed by a count now. So let me give you an example of that right now. For example, we could say, there should be fewer cars, which is the example that we have here. We have a subject. This could be in the form of there, as it can be in the form of another pronoun or another kind of subject. Uh, then it's going to follow the model verb should, and then this is, will be followed by a verb. It can be the verb to be, but it can be other verbs as well. And then the um, adverb quantities, such as fewer or more, and then whatever count now that exists. There should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. And these are opinions that we want to express about what is needed in a city. Okay, so remember this is the, here we are expressing problems and now give your opinion, right? So you can express your ideas, your thoughts. Okay, for example, you say should, or we need, right? Now, for example, we need more hospitals, right? We need more schools. We need a uh, better education. Okay, you can use also better, better education. Uh, for example, the uh, we have another opinion say we should we should have more more what more job opportunities, right? So these are you know ways to express your opinion. suggestion if you will um, but it's it's something similar and so um, it's quite what I would like to do next is explain how to describe problems that take place in a city but now I'm gonna do it with non count nouns and so what I would like for you to notice it will use too much it's enough parking um, the only and there's our example we have a subject that is followed by the verb and then this is followed by either too much or enough. Okay, so we have our subject is there, then we include should be, uh, and in this case we're gonna use less, and we're gonna say pollution. Um, I'm gonna change these words now, and instead of too much or not enough or, or enough, I will use there should be less or more. Okay, because what we want to do now is we want to express an opinion. So we're going to have a subject, uh, 
uh, the subject is there it's going to be followed by the model verb should and then this is going to be followed by some kind of verb it doesn't have to be the verb to be it can be something okay when they use this should sometimes can be a suggestion or can also be used to express an opinion okay so then i think that we already have an idea about this you can always watch the video later on the platform you know to practice more and then uh I just want to leave you this to do our practice. Okay, here. Okay. So we have, for example, quantifiers and count nouns. For example, we have some, enough, a lot of, a few, several many uh, then you can use in negative forms i don't have any i don't have enough so see for example that enough is in affirmative but also in negative uh, some is an affirmative any is in negative i don't have a lot of in both affirmative and negative and i don't have many also can be used in both these are for count nouns okay and these ones here are for the non-count nouns. I have some, enough, the same look, enough, a lot of. Now, here there is a change, a few, and for non-count nouns, a little, okay? For example, you can say uh, water, okay? I have a lot of water here, up to here okay a lot of water but if the glass of water is up to here we say what a few or a little a little a little because water is non-count okay it's a non-count noun then you say a little a, a great deal of instead of several several batteries I have a great deal of, okay? So this is something that you say a great deal of candy. A great, for example, I consume a great deal of sugar every day. I eat candy, cake, uh, carbs, coffee with sugar, tea, soda. I have a little milk. I have a? A, a little milk. I have I have little milk. Little milk. Okay. Uh -huh. Or I have a little milk in my glass. Okay. I have a little milk in my glass. Okay. Yes. You can use that one. Oops, sorry. So I don't have any. Okay. I don't have enough and don't have a lot of, but here in the non count we change for I don't have much. Okay, here you can see the ones that you can use with non-count noun, and these are quantifiers. Okay, you can use there are some, uh -huh. there are a fewer, too many, too much. You see there are many words that you can use depending on what you want to express. It depends on what is your idea, right? Okay, good. Now just let me. Now, any questions in this moment? No, I don't. Okay, now, what, are, what is what you're gonna do? You're gonna work in groups, okay? I'm going to make, uh, I think that we have like, but I want you to use, to practice a lot of sentences using these expressions, right? For example, in using a count nouns and non-count nouns, but about real things. Okay, for example, there are many, you can say there are many, uh, can be problems or can be, you know, positive things too, right? For example, there are many beautiful beaches in El Salvador. Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. They say there are many beautiful beaches in El Salvador. Uh, there are few, for example, there are few parks or very few parks in San Salvador. Okay. 
uh, there are, for example, you can say there are uh, some, uh, there are some, uh, there are some good restaurants in Lourdes, some, okay, not too many, right? And then you can say, for example, there are too many. What is something that we have too many in El Salvador? Pupuserías. Uh -huh. We have too many pupuserías, you know, uh, around around well, around El Salvador. Everywhere you go, there is there is one or two, or you may find, you know, three pupuserías in one place, right? Okay. So think about those kind of examples using count or non-count nouns. And okay. Let me see. Here we're going to have Okay, here we go. Okay, there you go. Cool. Did you get the invitation? Yes. Okay, Evelyn, no problem. Eduardo? Laura? Can you hear me? Hello, Evelyn. Hello. Hello, teacher. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. We are doing really well. Okay, good. Any yeah. questions about the uh, count, non count nouns? Um, I have I have one example. I, I, I don't know if it is, if it if is it correct. Is correct. Okay. If, if it is correct, yeah. There are many, there are too many bars in El Salvador. Is that correct? Parks. There are too many. Bars. Oh, oh bars, yes. There are too many bars. Yes, bars. that's true. Yeah. That's true. Bars, bars are like pupuserias. You know, yes. Uh, bars everywhere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. There are yes. too many bars in a salon. Okay, good. What is another issue that we have? In, no? in what, in what um, situation um, we will use uh, some in countable and non countable okay depends for example uh there are some uh, you can say for example there is this is uncountable for, for, there for, is some, for example there is some noise in this moment in, yeah. in the in the in the audio right there is some noise yeah. okay 
But you can say that a lot of there is too much noise. Okay, here yeah. with that word noise, you can use it, for example. Okay. okay. Yeah. So tell me another example. Um, I have some water to drink. Tonight. I have. Some. Okay, I have some water. Uh, or I, I I have some water to to give you or to bring you. What is correct? Exactly. Yeah. Well, I, I have. You can say I will I will bring you some water. I will bring you some water. Uh -huh. And I have to bring some water. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Teacher. All right. Good. Okay, try to try to mute your the the mics, the microphone when you are not speaking so that the others can participate. Okay. Now oh, let me see. I have to go and visit another group. All right. Hey teacher. No. Wait a minute. Well, I have a lot of traffic. You are talking about the traffic in our country. Um, I see it is very terrible every day when we we are driving. When yeah, I know. Driving, uh, uh, there are many cars, or a lot of cars, and people are crazy. <laughs> um, uh, another another topic. Um, there is uh, one book in my bedroom. Um, I have I have some things. Oh, I don't know. I have some animals. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. For example, when you come uh, from a restaurant, you can say there are two hairs in my coffee, right? Because as uh, countable things, uncountable. two hairs. Okay. No countable. Yeah. Yes. Uh, for example, water, milk, no countable. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, for example, I, I can I can ask you, uh, Evelyn. How many how many lies are? <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? Teacher. Hey, tell, tell me the joke. I want to, I want to laugh too. <laughs> about food. Uh, food. No, don't talk about. We're talking about food. Oh, no, don't Gio. Don't be don't be like that, Gio. Okay, remember. <laughs> You just like this. You have your pupusas next to the computer in this moment. Ah, uh, the tamales too. The tama tamalito, chocolate. Gio. Uh, there is any pupusa anymore. Okay, come on, Gio. Share share some virtual pupusas here. <laughs> okay, there are there are too many there are too many things to talk about, right? Yeah. Oh, Veronica, how are you? Yeah. What is your favorite topic? My favorite topic. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my God, there's a lot, a lot of food. <laughs> it's the reason because my brother is laughing for because I I, I talk about food. <laughs> okay, good. Um, are there are there any let's say any kind uh, kinds of a specific uh, fruits or things that you like to eat? In my case, I addicted to bread. <laughs> bread, sweet bread, sweet bread, especially cake. Yes, yeah. Oh, yes. No, no cake is delicious. And so. ice cream, I love the ice cream. <laughs> yes. So you love desserts? Yeah. Okay, good. It's a big problem because it's a lot of. <laughs> okay, so that means that in your birthday, in your birthday, a lot of sugar. 
No, all the day he said that was my story. <laughs> like, like, something <laughs> special, right? I eat a lot. <laughs> well, every day because to improve my mood, no matter what it is. I, I like that. Nice, Veronica. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Like, you don't have to yeah. wait. You don't have to wait for your birthday. No. <laughs> oh, I had a bad. Uh, uh, sorry, Mr. Excuse me. Yes, <laughs> uh, I have a. Uh, as ice cream in my refrigerator all the time yeah okay good all the time. okay then uh, keep on sharing your food with your group here okay i will visit another one see you later thank you very much okay, see you later. okay, see <laughs> okay we love to <laughs> keep on keep on around the watch around the watch there are many example uh, there are many uh, Teacher, how do you say gastronomic? <laughs> gastronomic? Gastronomic? Gas no. place. <laughs> gastronomic place. place. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. yes. There are many restaurants. Like restaurants, right? Gastronomic restaurants. Uh, it, it, for example, in Huachapan, the gastronomic places is only weekend ah, okay. in the street. Uh, many, like... people, many people uh, make the, the food. Around the park. Um, Yes, around the park, in the street, and the tourists from San Salvador. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We, we spend the money. <laughs> but where, where in Aguachapan? Because I, I used to go a long time ago to Huay when they started. Remember the beginnings of Huayua when they had it in, uh, what was your one in Ataco? Okay, but now it's, they are more established, right? But in Aguachapan, yeah. where? In the, in the, the town. Cordia Park. Ah, okay, good. In the, and, in the, in the, in the downtown. Uh, yeah. And that's uh, Saturday and Sunday? Yeah. What time? Uh, in the night. Oh, in the night? Yeah. From the 6 12, the, the, the 12. At noon. The, from noon? Uh, uh, from noon to 10 at night, I guess. Okay, that's good. Okay. Just uh, Sunday and uh, Saturday. Totally. And they have ponche, ponche and everything, yeah? Yes, every, every, everything. Everything. Okay, good. Yeah. Okay, so then uh, we can we can have a visit to uh, Wachapan on this day with Ricardo. Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. I have a, a yes. person trip. Yes. I, 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 I visit but, 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 some places near Wachapan because really? only a tourist places because a taco, a paneca is a... A good weather for for to live there. Yes, it's a mecca. Yes, you you should be visit uh, Santa Teresa Termos. Oh yes, I have it's heard. A, oh. It's a it's a good good place because the the pool are there are there are many pools. There are many pools uh, with hot water. Thermal water, right? Mm -hmm. Therm thermal water. water. Yeah. yeah. And they say that it's, it's not, it is not too expensive, right? It's not too expensive. No, you, you can stay a night I, you, there uh, all night. You rent a, a, apartment. a room mm -hmm. or apartment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How, how many costs at night? How much? How much? How much? Yes. How much? I don't know. I, 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 I guess. Uh, Sixty dollars, I guess. Okay. No for bad. for four persons. It's good. It, it is good. Mm -hmm. Yes, I have a friend who who told me about that place and it's a thermos and it's, yes, it's, it's a big famous, place. Very Rest famous in El Salvador. Uh -huh. Restaurants, swimming pools. There are restaurants. There are swimming pools, and there are rooms to stay there, right? You you, you can put a lodo. <laughs> <laughs> mud, 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 mud in your, in your, in your body. This is oh. uh, people say that it's medicine for the skin. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. It's like a mask. Right? You know? Yeah. You know, for the pimples, for the granitos and everything. <laughs> yeah. And after that, you have a very nice face. <laughs> like a baby, baby face. Like, 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 a, like a child face. Uh. Yes, you yeah, have baby face. You, know, have baby. you look more young. <laughs> okay, yeah. You look younger. You look younger. You look younger. Uh -huh. you fewer, fewer years. You look with fewer years. Okay. Yeah. A fewer years. Uh. Fewer years. Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, see you okay. later. Let me visit another group here, right?
Okay. Teacher, teacher, teacher. Teacher, teacher. I have, a... I have several uh, pair of uh, socks. Uh, pair of socks, creo que se dice. Pairs. Mm. <laughs> Hi, teacher. Hello. <laughs> pairs of socks. Yes. Ah, pairs. Pairs of socks. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. Um, I have a little gas in my car. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, yes. I don't have money. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, but it's dangerous. It's dangerous because uh, mm. <laughs> uh, suppose that you're driving at night alone. And yes. Mm -hmm. You ran out of gas, so then at least uh, you know at least one gallon. <laughs> Try to keep one gallon in the reserve, right? Okay. Yes. That's a good example. I have little gas. No, me too. I have little gas. I have little gas in my car too. It means almost empty, right? Almost. <laughs> in the letter E. You know. In the letter E. Yeah. Okay. Some people say that that letter E is the H L, right? Como anda el tanque de en la R H le dice eso es de empty right no not too much no eso no me la podía eso no tampoco yo in Spanish right so then be careful with that okay okay no questions teacher what mean a great deal of a great deal of is like when you say several for example, but uh, when you cannot count, when you don't have count nouns. For example, um, let's say, for example, I I drink, uh, let's say this morning, I drank several, uh, several cups of coffee. Mm -hmm. Probably four or five, okay? Several. Mm -hmm. But in that coffee, I consume a great deal of what? Sugar, <laughs> coffee. Uh -huh. A great deal of sugar. <laughs> mm -hmm. A great deal of caffeine. Caffeine. Okay. Uh, the caffeine cannot be count. It's a non-count. Sugar is non-count. So several mm -hmm. and, and great deal is similar, but one is for count nouns and the other one is for non-count nouns. Mm, okay. And when you say I drunk several cups of coffee a day, with a great deal of sugar mm -hmm. because i okay. like coffee very very sweet okay but mm -hmm. suppose imagine that i put three spoons of sugar in each coffee okay. mm -hmm. and if i drink seven coffees of seven cups of coffee a day mm -hmm. 20, 21 spoons of sugar a day mm -hmm. so it's a great deal a great amount okay a great cup mm -hmm. of uh, sugar. All right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Okay. Put gas in the car, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 okay. Sorry, I'm back. Yeah. You had a All question. Right. Somebody had a question yeah, here. Uh -huh. Yeah, teacher. Uh, <laughs> vida nocturna. How did ah, you la say? Night life. Nightlife. Night uh, nightlife. Yes. There is a lot of nightlife in El Salvador. Okay. There is enough, a lot of night. There is, there enough. is enough light night in a watch. <laughs> yeah, there is enough yeah. nightlife. There, 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 there is nothing. There is oh, nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing. There is nothing. Just in the uh, when I uh, celebration. Okay. But it's very, very quiet. Very that's, that's why you have money. Because you are stingy. You money. <laughs> no, it, we are economics. Yes. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yes. Okay, good. Now we're going to come back to the main class, okay? Thank you very okay. much. Okay. Nice to meet you. Okay. Nice to meet you.
Hi, teacher. Okay, everybody's back? Yes. Yes. Hello. <laughs> okay, good. Now, yes. uh, but there are, there are fewer students now. There were more when we started the groups. Yeah. Yeah, no. right. We mean, <laughs> okay, three of them probably are in the cafeteria in this moment, okay, like we said the other day. <laughs> Huh? In the virtual cafeteria, I was in a group. I was there was a group. Listen, there was a group in this from these people that were eating a lot in the class. <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, no, just kidding, just we are in the restrooms. Yeah, probably. Uh, yes. Probably. Or in the refrigerator. In the refrigerator. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, they are, they are in the refrigerator maybe. Okay, good. Now, uh, well, I could see that many of you were practicing with the structure and. Probably sometimes you have some questions about the vocabulary, okay? But do you have any any questions about the structure? No? No, no, no. Clear. Okay, only this one is the important thing, thank you, right? Okay, look at this. Just to remember how to use, right? The quantifiers are expressions of quantity such as a lot of and many. There are, they are used before a noun. We use a lot of water last summer. Remember what I, what I have told you many times is that you can paraphrase. Paraphrase means change some uh, vocabulary and then we can have different sentences and you can practice different ideas and more vocabulary. For example, I, uh, we drink, a lot of use. Okay, in past tense. In past tense. We drank a lot of beer last Friday. Okay? It's true. Eel, maybe. <laughs> Eel. No, you, you, you drank a lot of water last Friday. Yeah. Yes. 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 You know, water. Water, uh, crazy water. Crazy water. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there are many storms in El Salvador, right? There are, for example, you say there, there were many storms, in, let's say, last year. Oh, there weren't. There weren't too many storms last year, uh, last year. So you see, you can use negative, affirmative, but trying to use the nouns that are count, count or non count. How many eggs? Questions. How many eggs do we have? Okay. If it is no, if it is not a, if it is a non count noun, we're gonna use how much. How many? How much. Okay, uh, Veronica. How much? How much? Ice cream teacher. in the refrigerator. T sorry, teacher. Maybe a half in a gallon. Maybe? A half in a gallon. Half a gallon. Okay. Yeah. That is enough. Okay, that is enough for tonight. <laughs> no. <laughs> tonight, no. I, I, I tomorrow, tomorrow you need to buy some ice cream. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Who was speaking? Eric? Yes? No. Yeah, yes. Sorry. Okay. No, go ahead. But, what, what is the exactly uh, meaning of few? Um, few. Few? Few. Yes. Few. few is the, let's say less. that is like the plural of little or less. Okay. For example, okay. So when you say, when you say less, you say fewer. Okay. Okay. But fewer is for count nouns and less okay, is okay. for non-count nouns. Okay. okay. For example, you have a, I have say, a, let's say, little I have, is for non count nouns and few okay. is for count nouns. Count. Okay. Huh? Okay. Thanks for example, you can say, I have a little money in my pocket. <laughs> it's a tap in Sandra. You have a few dollars. Uh, uh, okay. I have a few bills. Dollars. Uh, I have a. I have a few 100 bills in my pocket. <laughs> and you have to, you like can you say a lot of money. Huh? Or not, correct. Yes. Five, Veronica. 
you can use a lot of money or not. Yeah. That's correct. Oh, see, yes. The thing is, mm -hmm. remember, a lot of, okay, a little a few, and a few, a little is non count. A few okay. count. A lot of is in both. In both. Okay. Ah, okay. I have a lot of money in my pocket, or I have a lot of 100 bills, 100 bills in my pocket. Okay. Then you can also say uh, a great deal of. Remember this one? Okay. Which one? I have a great deal. Can you say it? A great deal. A great deal. Yes. I have a great deal. See the mouth? Mm -hmm. okay. I don't remember what's the meaning of a great deal. Oh, but you can, you, but you can you sir. Yes. Lo suficiente de... I have a great deal of money. Okay. It's like when you say, I have several. Uh, several one hundred dollars dollars is like in the middle of model list which one no this Very one is several like, it's like a lot like a lot right ah uh, like really similar yes and several, and several what is various various okay, okay. So then okay. The if you say if you say a lot of is is exactly if you are going to say a great deal of uh -huh, I could be there. I have a great deal of mm -hmm. okay. I have a okay. great deal of money, you know. And then you don't you don't use the same words all the time, okay? For example, yeah. okay. remember that a great deal of is for no sound, okay? Okay, okay, okay. You don't say, for example, I have a great deal of uh, X in the <laughs> it, it just just to to sound Sounds. with more fluency, right? Exactly, Sounds. exactly. How you don't you, you don't repeat the same words all the time? Yes, you have more vocabulary. Sand or milk, uh huh, or juice, no count. Sand, rice, milk, rice, rice, uh huh, juice, juice, uh, juice. Uh -huh. orange juice, the, the coffee, sugar, sugar. 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 Uh, for example, uh, there are sugar. Uh -huh, exactly that one. <laughs> Yeah, there are some other examples that are abstract words. Abstract words. <laughs> what is an abstract word? An abstract word is idea. Is teacher is uh -huh. is is a little uh, alcohol hell? Yes, the alcohol. Gel alcohol. Yes. Because yes. no count. It's no count. You can count the container, the bottles. You can say, for example, I have three bottles of gel alcohol in my yeah. three bottles. Yes, in bottles. That's a great in example. Yes. Uh -huh. bottles. But the bottles, but not the alcohol. Okay. Uh -huh. it's also, they sell also liquid, liquid soap. Okay, liquid, only liquid. Liquid soap, uh -huh. it's not count. Mm -hmm. But if you say, for example, mm -hmm. I have six bottles of liquid uh, soap oh, in my office. Okay. Okay. These are the containers. Okay, six mm -hmm. bottles of liquid soap, but the liquid soap, non count. Yes, okay. 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 Okay, people. Then uh, let me see what else. Another example. Other questions. Okay, I, I I'm going to share with you this presentation so that you can see. The, the important thing is to practice with this vocabulary, right? Okay. Some, enough, a lot of, a few, several, many, so that you can have more vocabulary to speak and express your idea now this is relative. this is relative uh -huh. yes, okay is. sorry sir we will send the presentation yes in this moment uh -huh. okay thank you okay yeah Eric. Uh, where do you share that, that, that in the presentation what, in the whatsapp group are you in the whatsapp group no <laughs> oh, okay so then uh <laughs> Well, probably you. It's a, it's a new exclusive, exclusive boy, Eric. Eric, oh. it's new, <laughs> new. In a new what? No, well, I, it, I don't know when uh, you are going to to introduce in my, in a group WhatsApp. I in WhatsApp that, group, there is a there is a link. There is a link where you can just add your your number. I don't know, did you, everybody receive that link, right? Yes. Oh, yes. Okay. I didn't but, receive. Okay, or what you can do is, but do you have the English Corporativo number? 
the yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, have, have call it. Jonathan. Call Jonathan. Okay. Call it and tell Jonathan to add your number to to the to the group. Okay. And then I'm going to upload this. I'm going okay. to upload the presentation in this moment, but probably you will not find it because if they ask you tomorrow, then uh, you won't see it. But let me know, teacher. Uh, I am Eric, and I am in the group, mm. I, and I post it again. Okay. 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 Thanks. All right. Okay, everybody. So have a very good night. Okay. Thank you. Thank you stay you home. Too. Stay home. Hey, it's very very necessary to go very out. Hard. Okay. Stay yes. home. Okay. Okay. <laughs> If you don't have to go out, stay in the house, study in English, watch the videos, practice vocabulary. Yes. Okay. It's the best moment. It's the best moment to do so. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's practice. Let's practice. Okay. Bye, everybody. Thank right. you. Okay. Thank have you. Bye. Okay, bye. Have a nice bye. night. Okay. Bye. bye. Tomorrow. Early, please. Yes, <laughs> nine o'clock.